Congratulations on your purchase of a Redline portable Ruvac vacuum. If you're watching this video, that means your vacuum is either on its way or has already arrived. So we're going to briefly go through and show you the proper way to set up and use your equipment. We have many different sizes. We have a three motor, a two motor, a two motor without silencer, and a one motor. They're all going to operate the same. They're going to have a 30 foot power cable on them. The 30 foot power cable, if it's 110 volt, is going to be a three plung. 12-3 uh, power cable. When you plug this into the wall, make sure it's into a grounded outlet because the unit is fully grounded. You want to make sure it's grounded. If you're going to use an extension cord, make sure the extension cord is sized above a 12-3. You got to go to a minimum of a number 10 if you're going to use an extension cord at any one of these machines. If you did purchase a 220 volt, then make sure you put the appropriate cord cap on it and plug it into the appropriate power. So once the machine's powered on, you have a switch located on the machine without the silencer that you're going to turn on and off. The machines with the silencer, you're going to find these switches on the back of the machines. So there's going to be lit switches on the back of each machine, and they're independent. Each motor has its own switch, so when you turn it on, you're going to turn one switch on at a time. Operating the machines is extremely easy. Once you have the machine plugged in, you're going to locate your accessories. Every vacuum is going to need to have a button lock connector. If you're using an inch and a half tool, it'll be a reducer connector. If you're using a two inch or three inch, it'll be the appropriate size. You push the button lock in as so, make sure that it fits in. You'll see that it rotates and it is in there fully. It is fully grounded, like I said, so your grounded hose will simply plug onto that adapter. Now you are ready to vacuum. So your vacuum is now attached, you have your hose, and then you pick your appropriate wand. In this case, I have an inch and a half wand. Inch and a half wand is just gonna simply connect in. Now I have a fully grounded wand system and hose. The tools on the end of this simply Red line. plug in, plug off with a simple twist. So we have assortment attachments, hundreds and hundreds of them to pick from. You wanna make sure that uh, you have the appropriate attachments on there so your machine stays grounded. So you've continued vacuuming. Once you're done, you want to do your maintenance. Maintaining your Rubac is very easy. Your maintenance is going to be done. You turn the vacuum off. You have a shaker bar. We recommend using the shaker bar before and after each use. This is going to ensure that your vacuum filter is clean. That's all you need to do is rapid motion. A couple of times back and forth, it'll knock all the dust. If this is hard to move, that means your dust is loaded with, uh, your filter is loaded with dust and you might have to do some additional maintenance, but that's very rare. Once you shake the shaker bar, that's loosened up all the dust. You're going to release the dust. You can do that with your foot, or you can do that with your hand. Then we turn the vacuum motors back on. The reason for that is all that dust that we just took off the filter, we want to make sure it isn't going to be in our face. So here you have it. It's completely dust free. We would either take the bag off if you're using a bag liner, or you would take the pan away and empty the pan, bring it back. You can put the dust pan in either, either way. It doesn't matter which way you put it in. It's going to go in perfect every time. You're going to see the front of each machine has four black holes. You'll see this machine right here already has a bracket put in. The bracket is so you can add attachments to the front of it. 32 inch floor sweep would simply connect to the front of the machine. It is now connected. You could use this as a 32 inch sweeper or you can disconnect the button lock and you can use this as a vacuum system. So again, congratulations on your purchase of a Rubok. That's the proper way to set up the Rubok Redline portable machine and enjoy.